it's interesting that the market has pulled back somewhat uh, in the run up to the election results because at 11,800 a few days back it was almost pricing in a complete victory for the NDA no questions asked so that bullishness has sort of uh, ebbed away a little bit the markets become more uncertain now and therefore we've seen a 500 point uh, pullback in the nifty from those highs this only means that the market is basically becoming more cautious and hedging its bets trimming some of its positions and tempering its bullishness before the verdict and which is all a very good sign for the market because if the result had gone wrong from a market's point of view at the 11,800 highs then the prospect of a very sharp reaction could not have been ruled out but because of this 500 point correction the, the position is that the market is still going in in an optimistic vein into the election result but not with exuberance and not with overconfidence uh, and therefore I think uh, uh, what we have priced in at this point in time is the distinct possibility of an NDA led government on the 23rd of May and uh, but not a complete BJP single party majority and that's in the price I would say after this correction. If indeed the BJP were co contrary to popular belief in the market right now uh, to get a, a majority on its own as in more than 272 seats I think it would lead to a fairly significant reaction price reaction in the market uh, uh, 11,800 almost certainly will be broken it depends a bit on when where we are on the 23rd morning before the results come out or on the 22nd uh, and the reaction will be gauged from that base but if we are somewhere around this 11,200, 11,300 level and the BJP gets a full majority, chances are we'll make a new high in the market and 11,800 will be closed. So there will be a massive relief rally on that outcome. But I have no doubt on that score. This is the tricky part and I don't think this is in the price a sub 180 sub 175 kind of tally for the BJP because if they were to get 175 180 then the remaining 100 seats to get to an NDA government might be quite difficult it's not impossible but it will be difficult and this will unnerve the market and pave the way for a significant reaction so I think sub 175 sub 180 number from the BJP leads to a fairly significant price shock for the market despite the 500 point correction that we've seen already from the recent highs and the numbers that one needs to keep in mind are basically the first port of call is 11,000 which is a psychological support and then that very strong old base of 10,600 for the market uh, 10,600 probably will be tested if the BGP gets less than 175 180 seats on the 23rd of May and if it appears during the course of the day that the NDA will struggle and not make it to uh, the government then I think the price fall might be even steeper and 10,600 might get taken out and we may even be staring at one of those fairly uh, uh, frightening prospects like a near circuit down situation for the market it's possible Well, this is the base case for the market uh, that it will be an NDA government but it will not be a BJP majority that's what the market has priced in the closer the BJP gets to making it a comfortable NP NDA government without having to rely on support from non NDA partners uh, the better the market will feel about it so any number for the BJP which is in excess of 200 or 210 I think makes the market uh, breathe a little easier about the NDA uh, prospect and therefore the market might have some reaction now when I say reaction it is only because the market has corrected somewhat from its recent high and the relief at the fact that there might be a stable government at the center will lead to some kind of a positive price action however given that there are significant economic headwinds at this point in time consumption slowdown etc it's possible that there will be significant profit taking immediately after or on the same day or the next day after any kind of an up move on an NDA government not a BJP majority government so be prepared for volatility uh, initial positive reaction and then very aggressive profit taking which might bring the market down to where it started the rally from if it is status quo or in line with ex the base case expectations of an N reasonably stable NDA government
investors have to keep an eye on earnings and growth and fundamentals and they should not be deluded that there will be price volatility on the election result day and they should be they should be in the mode of uh, thinking to try and use that volatility rather than panic because of it in that they should remember the lesson of 2004 in 2004 in two days after the election result the market tanked 20 percent uh, and by the by december 2004 the market had rallied 20 percent from the pre-result level and 50 percent from the lows after the election result day so if you bought right into that decline you would have made a ton of money and that's an important lesson of history every investor should keep in mind that while there will be volatility on election result day and there may even be price shocks the nature of those price shocks are often not very durable because the market soon moves on and focuses on earnings and basic fundamentals uh, uh, so i would suggest that while things in the economic front are not very rosy at this point in time if we do get a price shock on the 23rd long-term investors should try and use those kind of price opportunities to accumulate good long-term businesses and good long-term stocks the only caveat i would add is if the election verdict is an utterly fragmented one what do i mean by an utterly fragmented one that the bjp gets 150 seats congress gets 110 thereabouts 100 110 seats which means that the next government will probably be a coalition of various fragments and therefore inherently or intrinsically unstable and this instability or the prospect of that might linger longer in the market than a two or one day price shock so that with that caveat i would say investors should try and use any kind of price damage on uh, election result day to accumulate and if the market goes into raptures because of an election verdict given our economic difficulties at this point in time it may even be a good idea to book some profits for investors who are already already owning a fair share of equity